In the age of the smartwatch, you don't often hear about e-ink, the technology in Kindle screens. Even though it doesn't display color or show video, it has a few tricks up its sleeve. look -see, a startup based in Oakland, California, is using an e-ink display to make slick, wearable jewelry that is both stylish and functional. We visited Per Jung, founder of look -See Labs, at his home slash laboratory to learn all about it. Tell me where it all started. We wanted to redefine what a smartwatch could be, and we said, well, we don't like this kitchen sink approach where you just throw all kinds of technical features in it and, see, and hoping that some customer finds it and finds it compelling and it becomes a giant sales success. Instead, we said, let's do exactly the opposite. Let's actually remove everything that's non-essential. Then we were left with the display, radio, and battery. That was it. And we said, how far can you get with that? What if we have like a really big always-on display showing me information that was contextually relevant right now. Okay, the train is leaving. Okay, he's not coming to that meeting. Good, that means I don't have to go. The main advantage of e-ink is that once you've written an image to the display, you can actually turn off the power. Here is one of these displays. As you see, there's no battery on this, but it's still maintaining the image. Mm -hmm. So the beauty of this system is that we only use power when we update the display, then we turn the electronics off. So if you update the display once an hour, that's one year of battery life. One year of battery life. And then you recharge. E-ink displays are composed of many pixels that can be switched between black and white. If we look at one pixel, we see that it is filled with both white and black spheres. When a voltage is applied across the pixel, the black spheres are attracted up and the white repelled down. And when the voltage is turned off, the spheres stay where they are, maintaining whatever the last image was. The disadvantage is you can't do color today. We're working on it. You can't do video, but you get a lot of advantages the low power, the flexibility, and pretty decent resolution. There's a lot of things that I want to be able to glance at my wrist and see. Yeah. You know, and maybe for a lady it's something that's yeah. uh, aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. For me, it, it's information. Yes. The men were like, yeah, it's really cool. I like that. You know, I, I want to know my emails. I want to know the stock tickers. And when we showed women, they're like, psst, <laughs> no interest whatsoever. So we said, since we're painting a picture when we're showing the text, let's actually just put a picture when we're sending it to the bracelets. We literally showed them a snake skin and all of a sudden they were really interested. I'm like, self-expression, this is jewelry. This is much more interesting. So I brought uh, Stephanie here today. Hey, Stephanie. Hey. <laughs> to see what she thinks of it. Let me just put that on your wrist yeah. and you're done. I think it's great, actually. At mm -hmm. first I was hesitant mm -hmm. because I'm used to the idea of a watch wearable. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is different. I'm actually drawn to this. At first I thought also the e-ink would feel low-tech. Mm -hmm. It's not techy like mm -hmm. Apple Watch. It's, it's fashion. Mm -hmm. So I think there's something here. Can I see an image of uh, something in real life? Let's well, take a picture of you guys. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's see if that picture works. <laughs> like that yes. and let's play with the grayscales bright let's let's do the brighter one and i'm done let's send it to the bracelet bingo look -see is embracing constraints in order to innovate ink itself is not bleeding edge and yet this wearable product manages to do some pretty compelling stuff and that's what it's all about. 